So, I got a story for you, and the setting for this story is I work at the rec center, and the rec center, part of my job is to make sure that just, you know, nobody's screwing around in the building. You know, everybody's following the rules. And so, for part of that, um, you gotta go do a bathroom check, make sure nobody's like doing weird crap in the lockers, you know? And so, it's just, you know, any old day, nothing's happening, so I'm like, you know, I better go do a bathroom check, you know, I haven't done one in a while, so, you know, I walk down the hall, there's not that many people in the rec center, you know, look in the pool, there's kind of a lot of people in there, but it's like a different area, that's the lifeguard's domain, you know, it's, it's their area, and so I get in there, walk through the lockers, you know, look at the bathrooms, you know, look over, look in the showers, you know, everything's fine, you know, everything's normal, and so, go out, and I walk back around, and I'm walking back up to the front, back up to do something, and I get about halfway there, and this fat little boy in a swimsuit comes running up to me, hey mister, hey mister, can you help me? My brother left a big doo-doo in the toilet. <sighs> this was bad. This, that's not what you want to hear. That's... I, I don't even know. Like, I, I didn't know what to think. I could barely understand this child. He was... Ooh, he was about four and a half feet tall. I'm guessing nine years old, ten years old. And round like a penguin. He was, he was fat. He was large. He was ob overweight. And so, you know, I, I have to go help him. I can't just say, oh, well. So I turn back around and I follow this kid back to the bathrooms. And, you know, everything, I look, I look over my shoulder as we enter the locker rooms and everything's fine. The rec center's fine. It's a quiet day. Everything's, it's just perfect. And then I go in and just the smell hits me like a wave. It's just like, you know, the force of just, oh, 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 tangible evidence of what was going on in the locker room. Oh. <laughs> and I go in there and the locker room, which I had just walked through, which was clean, which was... Fine, nothing was going on in there. It was no longer like that. There's an identical copy of the boy who had just grabbed me and asked for help, standing in the door to the handicapped stall. And I couldn't see around him. Again, he was a wide child, very wide. He had a girth. Girth. He had a circumference. And... He was round, with wrinkles, like an elephant. But, moving on. So, I can't see past him, and the brother that had gotten me says, Here, I got help. Show him what's wrong. And so he steps out of the stall, and I step to the edge of the stall, and I peer in, and it is like, it's like a kaiju got released into the handicapped stall, there is just destruction, death, suffering. Okay, you know how you take your you take some toilet paper to wipe. This is normal, everybody. You take you pull out a little bit, rip it, rip it off. You rip it off. You wipe and then you drop it in the toilet. Yes, that's normal, right? This child had taken the toilet paper, wiped. Struck it to the wall, pulled out more toilet paper, wiped, stuck it to the wall, and continued. Like, it was like almost a whole row of, roll of toilet paper, just around on the stall walls. It was on the floor. It was like off the toilet and on the back of the pipes and ugh. And ugh. Ugh. Just the whores. Like, I am scarred. For life. I am. And. 
honestly, like, the first thing I thought of was <laughs> this kid was trying to wipe a marker. He was having one of those days where you wipe and you wipe and it always comes up brown, you know? <laughs> And so I kind of like smiled and laughed a little and I was like, okay, so this is a big mess, but <laughs> it's kind of funny. He's having one of those days where you wipe and you wipe and it comes off brown and you're like, it's like wiping a marker. What am I supposed to do? You know? And so I remember kind of like, <clears throat> <clears throat> and then the kid behind me. You know, at, the, at this point, I'm like, I'm leaning into the stall. I'm, I'm carefully, still carefully outside of the stall. In, you know, in the safe zone. Mm. Mm. But I'm, I'm leaning in a little so I can peer in, okay? And the toilet's off in the corner, the farthest corner from the door. So I can't see into the toilet, right? But I can see it's festooned with just... Ugh, sluggish material. Brown, sluggish material. Goo, if you want to call it that. And the older kid, the one who'd gotten me, I see him out of the corner of my eye go to push me into the stall. And he says, look in the toilet. That's the problem. And without even looking, turning to look at him, I just, Wah! I slapped his hand. <sighs> I don't know where that's been. I washed my hands a good, like, five times after that, okay? <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. I don't know. Ugh. I was infected. <laughs> I was infected with the brother of the monster child that had made the mess. Ugh. Ugh. So, I slap his hand. And I'm like, Ugh, don't touch me, I got this, okay? You know? Because I'm, I'm older than him, I gotta, you know, act, I have to act mature. Which is an act. But, yeah. So slap his hand away. And I go, okay. And there is, there is a clean patch of floor. About two feet in. And for me, that's, that's, you know, that's about a normal step. So I step carefully onto the clean patch of floor. And then go out on my tiptoes on that foot and peer into the toilet. Oh my gosh. And it was like, it was like this dude, this little child. I'm just, like, he didn't even weigh over 150 pounds, I don't think. He was like four and a half feet tall. And, you know, he was, he was very large. He was swarthy, you know. He could handle himself well. But, <laughs> it was like he had given birth in the toilet to an abomination. Okay. Now, with the mess all over the walls, I was expecting the toilet to be messy in there, in, in the depths as well. You know, that was where the problem originated from, the mess. Now, I looked in, and the inside of the toilet was like sparkling clean, and the water was crystal clear, clear. And through this water, I could see this... Log. This log. Honestly, it was like that big. I, you could like see me through that. Look how big around that is. Look at that. <laughs> it was honestly a good four inches in diameter. Like, I don't know. Like, boys, you know, we're never going to have a child. We're guys. But this kid came close with this log of poop. That is what I relate this to. Dropping that depth charge must have been something like having a child. I wonder if it was painful. But this log, I can see about this much of it. And it's that big around. And it just goes straight down into the tube that's supposed to flush, you know. And the toilet bowl's clear full of water and there's water around it. So I can tell that they tried to flush, but the toilet simply couldn't handle this, this log. This, like, this was the definition of fossil fuels. 
This was the definition of fossil fuels. This was the iceberg that sank the Titanic. It, it just cracked it in half. It couldn't handle it. And I couldn't handle it. But I have to be mature in this situation. I was the adult. I was the responsible one. I had to take care of this. <laughs> and from behind me, the kid who I had slapped away, who <sighs> says, the toilet won't flush. My brother's doo-doo is too big. Now, it's obvious they weren't very good at speaking English, but I was just, oh, oh, like, the smell, oh, I was crying from how terrible it smelled. I was trying not to laugh. I'm sure my face was turning beet red, but I, I very, I was leaning it over again, remember? I stepped back. I'm back in the safe zone now. The mess is in there. It's contained. And I say, I turn to the kid and... I say, well, I'll go tell maintenance that there's a mess in here. Thank you for telling me. Because cause I wasn't going to take care of the mess. Like, that's not exactly my job. Nobody had told me to. And honestly, maintenance is supposed to clean up messes. Doesn't this just fall into their category, not mine? This wasn't my problem. I was making this someone else's problem. So I could laugh about it more. So I could survive the end of the, the apocalypse that had happened in that handicapped stall. They had, they had handicapped the handicapped stall. How do you even do that? How, how, like, honestly, like, there was toilet paper just everywhere. With, like, poop sooty marks across it at, like, three-foot intervals. It looked like somebody had, like, strung, like, party decorations for a bathroom gathering. This was terrible. Oh, my gosh. So, I did maintain a straight face. I, I kept it cool because I had to. I, I couldn't give anything away. So, I walked out. Walked out of the locker rooms. There was a person from maintenance right there, and I was like, hey... Uh, when you got a minute, you know, there's a slight mess in the bathrooms. Could you guys clean that up? And, you know, he didn't know. He didn't know, like, what, what scale we were talking about. Like, I don't even know. You could measure this with... I don't know. I, I don't even know. It just, it blows my mind how, how terrible this was. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, this would be, like... Pacific Rim, again, a kaiju, had birth in there, and its child exploded. Ugh. I honestly hope that they, like, burned that room. I haven't been back there since, by the way. But they needed to burn it. Just cleanse it with fire. So with a straight face, I tell him there's a mess in there. He's like, yeah, I'll take care of it. I go up to the front. Now, there, there was an empty conference room at the front, so I went into the conference room, and I just lost it. I lost it. I am still losing it over this. It was that bad. And, oh my gosh. Like, honestly, my nostrils will never forget the scent. My eyes, my eyes, I swear I gained, like, new veins in them, new scars from that experience. But... <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. That's that's the worst experience I've had in a public bathroom and you know it wasn't even my problem. So, see you guys. <laughs>